What does one part per million ppm look like? Parts per million is the measurement scientists and other water quality experts use to talk about concentration. It is one part of something in a million parts of something else. This is how we measure things that are dissolved in water. And sometimes all it takes is an extremely small amount of something to contaminate water enough to be toxic to us humans and our pets. One in a million can be kind of hard to visualize. One part per million is about one drop of something in 10 gallons of water, or about what a standard 10 gallon fish tank holds. The chemical chlorine starts to become toxic to humans at just four parts per million. It doesn't take very much at all, does it? But there are many other contaminants that are toxic at levels far less than that. When scientists are measuring things like lead, they use parts per billion. That's one part in a billion parts of something else. And remember, a billion is a thousand millions. While lead is toxic at virtually any amount, the legal limit for tap water is 15 parts per billion, or just 0.015 parts per million. To illustrate that, one part per billion is like a drop of water in an entire swimming pool. So adding about a sixth of a teaspoon of lead would be enough to contaminate that entire pool. Parts per billion isn't the smallest amount at which things are known to be toxic. Not by a long shot. The chemicals PFAS and PFOA are part of a group called perfluorinated chemicals that are used to create many popular nonstick coatings. And they're so toxic that they're measured in parts per trillion. And one part per trillion is like just one drop of that contaminant being enough to pollute an entire lake. Just this year, the EPA announced that perfluorinated chemicals are far more toxic than previously thought. They set a health limit as far as four parts per quadrillion. If you were to equate that to time, one part per quadrillion would be like a single second in a span of 30 million years. Scientists and doctors often refer to these as forever chemicals because they don't break down in your body. They've been identified in almost every major water supply in the United States and detected in the blood of up to 99% of all humans. And unfortunately, you can't rely on your senses to know whether or not chemicals are present in your drinking water because they can be toxic at levels well below the threshold for what humans can detect. If you found this video informative, then be sure to send it to someone you care about.